Hello. In this tutorial, we will see how to access the background location of the device and show it in a foreground notification in Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. In the build.gradle file, first, we set up the view binding. Then, in the dependencies, we integrate the location and work manager dependency. In the manifest file, we have written the course, fine, background location, and post notification permissions. Now, here we have the main activity in a work manager class called, my foreground work. And in the UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. Here we have a button called get location in the background. And we also have a text view to show the location result. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, first, we set up the view binding. Then we get the fused location provider client. When the get location button is clicked, first, we check if the location service is enabled on the device or not. If the location service is not enabled, we show a toast message to the user that, please turn on the location. Also, we call the create location request function, which shows a location service dialog to the user so that the user can enable the location without leaving out app. If the location service is already enabled, then, we launch the permission request and ask for the course and find location permissions of the user. This is the, is location enabled function. Here we check if the location service is enabled on the Android device or not. And this is the create location request function. In this function, we create and show a dialogue to the user, which asks the user to enable the location service. So after asking for the course and find location permissions, the app flow goes here, at the foreground location permission request. Here we check if the location permissions have been granted or not. If the permissions are granted, then, we ask for the background location permission. From there, the app flow comes to this background location permission request. Here we check if the background location permission has been granted or not. If the background location permission is granted, then, we get the current location and show it in the text view. Then, we call the start background work method. This is the start background work method, here, we start the work manager. First, we configure the one-time work, and then start the work manager. Let's see the work manager now. These are the imports. This is the My Foreground Work class. These are the data members. This is the Do Work function. Here, first, we call the Set Foreground Async function and pass the Show Notification function in it. This will fire a foreground notification on the Android device. Then we set up the Fused Location Provider and the Location Callback. When the location data starts arriving, we will catch that data in the Location Callback, and then call the update notification function, which updates the location data on the foreground notification. At the end, we call the start location updates function, which starts firing the location updates. This is the show notification. Here we call the create notification function. This is the create notification function. Here, we set up a notification channel and configure a foreground notification. This is the update notification function. When the updated location data arrives, this function will update the text on the foreground notification. This is the start location updates function. Here, we build a location request and request the location updates every 5 seconds, inside a for loop. Let's run the app.
As you can see our app is fetching the location in the background and showing the location updates on this foreground notification every several seconds. So that's it. That's how you can get the background location with a foreground notification on a device in Kotlin Android. Thank you.